Howdy. Howdy, Clutus. How was your day? Uh, it was, it was okay. There's a lot of people really upset about the Denzel situation. Pretty much everybody feels like his firing is completely unjustified. Why is that? Because he's gotten daps for a lot of things that were basically nothing, or other people have done multiple times and have never been reprimanded for it. Can you give me an example? The pit into the Johnson situation. now. Elgin Vickle's been picked under the freeway. Oh. Jesus Christ. Hey, good pit, man. You just killed somebody with that pit. Good shit, guys. Check on them. Check on them. Hey, firm. Mm. Pit Johnson! Elgin. Stop petting! He got, he got one down for that, yeah. Yeah, nobody else. What I'm, about I've, him? I've seen multiple officers directly run over civilians. Why, why are you reporting this right now? Why is this not being brought because, up? Because, because, like men, they get out the car. They say, hey, sir, I'm sorry. You know, uh, are you okay? Is everything all good? Whatever. And then what happens? They say, oh, officer, I completely understand. That's fine. You know, do you need EMS? Do you need me to take a hospital? You know, are y'all good? Mm -hmm. Hell, I'll tell you, half the time, they say, hey, you stupid son of a bitch, what are you doing? Go chase that guy. I mean, the most important is the person getting hurt, uh, and then the rest come afterwards. Now, right, as no, far as the no, no, situation with the DAP, I mean, we got a pending lawsuit. We got somebody who uh, went down and filed a complaint. Somebody got hurt. Right? So, so, so a, a, a fired officer got hurt, and in an act of retaliation towards the PD, came and made a complaint to the police department and threatened Rightfully to so. sue and threatened to sue the police department and attacked the man almost retaliation. died. The sure. man almost died. Sure, but he was also completely falsifying the story. I talked with him, and he told me that there was nobody there for him. Nobody, nobody was there when he got hurt. Nobody. I, I spoke with Denzel. I spoke with Aziz. I heard them tell the story to people. I... There's multiple people that they went and saw him in the hospital. They afterwards, they, mm -hmm. yeah, they went and saw him in the hospital. He told me nobody was there for nobody who saw him in the hospital. No, none, no, none of that. This is a man who is vindictive against the PD, and you let a civilian's vindictive actions come in and, and damage the police department that they're not a part of. That that is a major fault in the system. Who does who you work for? The police department. And who does the police department serve? The people. Exactly. So the people, and one of the people got hurt. And um, Sure, but what about, what about all the other people? This happens all the time. Right, but just because it happens so why all the is time. So why is it that the, the guy who is at nine daps is the first guy to have this shit enforced on him, and it's done so because in such a way? Because he was the first, he was, he was one of the first people to have an incident like this. It was a no, freak accident. No, no, absolutely. That's what? just not true. Okay. I, well, I, give me an example then. Uh, when has somebody been pitted to where the car went flying, it went on the sidewalk, somebody got hurt when did I see you? I've seen worse. I've seen officers directly run over somebody. Senior officers. Okay. And why is this not being brought up? Or Because um, you know, it was hashed out right then and there like adults. And you talk about it and they say, thank you, officer, for stopping. Thank you. I'm not vindictive because I see that you're trying to help me. Because at the end of the day, Wait, what but, is, but, what, but, Slacks, what did you tell me whenever I came into the city? Do you remember? I do remember very well. You told me you told me the key principles of what's going on with this new PD. First and first mostly, you said you wanted people to feel safe. You didn't want to lose the city because all this talk about a failed PD, all this talk about, you know, you wanted to keep people safe and you wanted people to feel like they're really protected by the police, right? That's exactly it, right? It's, it's about... Integrity, it's yeah. About respect, absolutely. Courage, commitment, and inspiring folks. Absolutely. So, have you noticed how? And I'm not taking away anything from anybody else. How there is an overwhelming amount of positive reaction that the average person in this city has to me, including the criminals, because I listened to you, and I said, okay, that's great, because I believe in the same thing, and I took that to heart. And I believe every single person in this city who's ever seen me would more than likely say that I probably uphold that standard. Probably as well as anybody else. Slacks, I know, I know you're a young guy. I get it. Mm -hmm. But I see a lot of myself in you. I really do. I think you got a good head on your shoulders. But the way things are, are getting done, a lot of people want to point at you and blame you. And the truth is, we don't have three captains doing 12 different command positions jobs. We have one and a half. And it's all fallen on you. What do you mean one and a half? I mean, we know the truth. 
Captain Ruth ain't here. Damn near shift one. Of, yeah. And that's, the, that's by the true. way, the that's worst shift, the morale of that shift is miserable. It is it is not enjoyable. The entire shift, it's cloak and daggers. Look, please, you're talking about respect. You're not even respecting the other captains, though, right? How can you how can you demand what, respect? What has Brooke Ruth done to deserve respect? What? She helped bu build this police department from start. And where has that gotten us? What is that supposed to mean? What What do you mean? Well, just look around. You're, you're, you're placing the blame on one person in the fast case. I'm just as equal as guilty as she is. No, you are not. Yes, I am. Yeah, you, I'm, you, I'm her, I'm, you have yes, your own I problems. Am. You have your own problems. It is not just on you. And it is, it is not equally on you. I personally, I mean, I understand Turner's situation. I've talked about it, but but from what right. I know, I know enough. I know all I need to know, in order for me to feel as if it's it's reasonable. And thank God for Barrick and Flop, and Shift Three stepping up as seniors, and and you know holding it down in Shift Three because Shift Three has been phenomenal. Why are there people in Shift One that are going behind each other's backs and arguing with each other, that are shit talking each other in front of suspects, that are talking down to cadets, talking down to PPOs, trying to separate the PPO. There's, there's talks about officers who have been talking about how much they hate the PPOs and how, uh, hello, that is not at all remotely how you run any sort of an organization ever. It is, to me, that is disgusting behavior. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. You, you said your piece, clear as far as that. Um... For me, it comes down to respect. That's the whole issue. And, having, and, right? and, and Ruth has done damn near nothing to deserve respect. I'm sorry. How could you say that? How could you say how, that? How, how could you say, how could how you, could you, say, how say, could that? you say that? Look look at because, what's happening because, around you. As far as what? The, far, discon what, what? the discontent? Yeah, the, and, and the daps on Denzel? Please, with all the, the respect, daps I'm on me. Some, well, I'm looking at somebody who's also part of the problem. Okay. You can, okay. Sit, there. Wow. You can sit there. I would I would love to hear The reality things. The reality things. Okay. Okay. Is you've gotten yourself in trouble multiple times, and hell, by who? I, you want me to pull up your daps? Oh yeah, what? Some action? arbitrary rules that were made up by by made up? Yeah, it was made a up by and a policy. Yeah, apology. there is a standard right. and a policy that clearly nobody else in the city gives a damn about. Slacks. Why no, are you comparing? Comparison why am I comparing? Because you, joy. what did you say at the beginning of this conversation? Who do we work for? The people, the, the people. criminals, right? So right. why do the people of this city? respect me so much. I don't understand what you're trying to say. What I'm saying is I work for the people, but the captains are the ones who are making these rules that you get dapped for, not the people. So why are the people who are not in charge, the people who are now punishing me, when I'm there for those people, not the captains? What the fuck does that mean? You're part of a police department, Cleus. Ab absolutely. You no, and absolutely. You're, 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 you are one mirror that reflects all of us. Yeah. So and you're you welcome out there that. should be. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? The what? reason I'm talking to you is because you are in trouble. You're, you're doing the opposite of what you're saying. I'm... You're out there. You're out there causing problems as well, Cletus. I, okay. Right? What problems? The shooting with Donald Bush the 23rd. Because I because I shot Donald him an extra time. Hey. Everybody, everybody who... stop shooting. Everybody stop shooting. You magged up the guy. You said yourself. You emptied two magazines. Apparently there wasn't enough. You okay. got too emotional about the whole thing and walked up to him and put a, a, one more bullet in his head. You're lucky you're not looking at murder. Please, sir, I, I I will not hesitate to shoot you. I will not hesitate to shoot you. I've been itching to shoot somebody stupid like you today. So please, please give me the reason to do so. <laughs> Suspect down, also 13 alpha. Here, proceed. It's okay. He's right. down. Uh, He's cold mode is down. EMS from PD. Uh, suspect down. Andres, can you hear me? There's no EMS. For sure. Cornwood. I was making I'm sure. Here. Good shit, Cornwood. You're back. I got you, Andrews. Don't land. worry. Cornwood, even though you shot him a million times, he's only got five bullets in there. What? What is your aim, man? Uh, yeah, I think I missed a lot. <laughs> you know, if, if, if this if this guy Cornwood. dies, you, you might be in like big, 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 big trouble. We try to kill Andrews. I know, but like you, you when you subdued him, there was a bunch of officers who saw you just unload into him, right, and they continued to. Like this is really bad, Cornwood. He was doing. He was. He was still crawling towards me. It, it's been an honor. I hope that they, <laughs> hope they understand. Okay, Andrews. You know what? You know what I just did. You're back, Cornwood. How many bullets you got left? None. 
<laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Coral is back, boys. <laughs> Look, I, you know what? If you are a guy, if you're Donald Bush the 23rd, and you're looking at an officer with your knife out, and there's 10 okay. other officers pointing their guns at you. Is 25 you. not enough? You need 26? Six officers emptied magazines. Do the math on that. Six times 12, minimum. What is that? Like 180. <laughs> but the issue I'm having is not only that, but also it was after the fact. Remember, it's a stop and cease fire, right? It's another bullet came out. And that's sure. the reason why I'm saying it's excessive, right? Sure. But, I'm not but here's the thing. Who did, shooting who, him because who did that hurt? Somebody died. And on top of it, your who, fellow officers saw that. And w once again, what did I tell you? My fellow, shift, actions, my fellow shift one officers who have okay, been he, trained and the culture in shift one. Stop, I'm, stop saying I'm not going to stop saying it because everybody believes it. No. Everybody no, believes no, no, it. No, no, it is the truth. No, you're starting to believe it as well because you're telling yourself that, okay? Because I've seen it with my own eyes. You, you have seen it, but you're throwing everybody on the same umbrella. How is that fair? How is that fair? Uh, no, I don't think it's everybody in shift one. There is a lot of people in shift one, yes, that act this way. Why does it not happen in shift two and shift three? Because our leadership is what? not this what? way. No, but, but the problem is, what are you trying to say, act this way? As far as that incident, what issues you have with it? From, from, from what, what is it they did that you have a problem with? I think, I think if, if it's like a, hey, don't do that. Okay, I respect that. That's fine. I and you think I've not done that with you? Please, I took your yeah, no, arms you, sir, you, away from me, okay? You are a shift two. But, but, but stop putting the shift one, shift two, shift three. You see, that's no, the problem. That's no, 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 PD. no. It does. It does. It absolutely does. It does, but it's... they've already done it. You don't understand. So two wrongs make a right. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that one thing is wrong, and there's two rights and one wrong, and it's very clear. This is something that is festering inside of your police department, and I'm trying to stop it from happening because you can't be everywhere all at once. It's impossible, right. and it's not right, fair to you. Please, I'm not here for me. I'm here for, for you and the whole entire police department. Right? It's not about you, and it's not about me. It's about it being about everybody, and everybody needs the person that is there to do things right and to be empowered to do things right. We need more, better leadership. Ruth is just not good. The way that she operates. Where, where is this coming from? Where, it, because you, you, I, it blows my mind that you don't see it. Okay? Everybody who's complaining about the problem is acting as also part of the problem. No, I, we're not, I, I actually. We're not acting like adults because people are going to the mayor and complaining. People are, are go, going to any open ear that's willing to listen and I, I about our internal problems. That should not happen. That is completely immature. No, no, I, I agree with you, but here's the thing. When you keep talking about something and, and nobody's listening to you, is it really that immature? Right what, what, I've always listened to you. I've always, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. As far as how, how you, I feel like a lot of things are coming out as far as how you feel. And I can tell there's a lot of frustration. I, I'm, I'm very, very frustrated. And dis, I'm, you know what, I'll go as far, I'm disappointed. It's the, really oh. easy to than done. Because I've been trying to change the culture since day one. Since day one, I yeah. keep trying to push and preach. But I feel like sometimes it's falling deaf ears. People get stuck in their old habits. People it's, don't it, want to have a standard. People have a hard time taking accountability for their actions. I understand the frustration. I, I get it. I get the fact that we're going through a, a rough phase right now because uh, what's happening with Turner and obviously, uh, you know, Ruth is around early mornings. I'm in the in between and I was gone for the weekend. So I, I totally understand what you're saying. Now I want to fix it, right? You have to have the right people in place to promote a good, positive culture. And how do you find the right person? But it's because I don't know. I'll tell you what. We probably had the best damn meetings that we had in in the the three days that I was leading them. I'm not saying I'm the one who needs to be in charge, but I'm just saying somebody who can rally the troops, like you said, I can, needs to rally the damn troops. Sometimes you need somebody who get who understands people. Look, you want to be the LSPD uh, cheer team? Hell, if 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 it means people are happy, hand me the pom poms. I don't give a shit. Okay. What makes the police department fantastic is you have different kind of pieces come together, right? And when the when the right pieces fall in the right order, you, you paint a really good picture of what a fantastic quality police department should be in Los Santos. But the thing is, we start off as a skeleton crew, right? And, yeah, and um, where are they, by the way? I know. I'm, I'm getting to that point. I'm getting to that point. Okay. We start off as a skeleton crew. I'm kind of, kind of explaining to you everything that's transpired. I'm not trying to make any excuses. I take full okay. responsibility for how it may happen. If there's anybody to get blamed, blame me because I'm at the helm. And I'm not trying to run from any accountability or responsibility, right? But when there's an issue and then there's a problem, I'll be the first person to raise my hand and say, you know what, I fucked up and I should do better, right? Yeah. And that's what we want in the PD is yeah. self-awareness. Yeah, no, self I get that. Right. 
And so, th that's so, been the biggest problem. That's what's hurting us the most, in my opinion. That has been the biggest problem the PD because nobody's willing, you know, take it while also dishing somebody else. Right. I agree. And I think Captain Ruth needs to take it and because she only dishes it. When has she taken I, it? Multiple times. She's been dapped twice by me. Dapped twice. You want you want me to get you a few more? I can, no. I can, I can, I can, I, I'll, I'm ready. I'm, I, you want Ruth to get 10 daps? I can get out a list. No. You ready? No, no. I, you want to hear this? I, I, I want you, if there's an issue, you report it. That's the problem. I don't want that vindictive, uh, you know, kind of style. Like, do you it's talk not, about it? it's not about me. I can avoid shift one all day, but you know who can't? Denzel, who is now fired because of some bullshit ass vindictive daps that have occurred on him when he is one of our when we're talking about on the front lines he is always out here putting in a ton of hours it doesn't even make sense the why is it that the people with the most so hours the, have the most what, daps actually i'll take it a step further why is it that the people with the most hours have the most daps however and i don't know how many she's got i know darolo has got daps and she i never see her on duty if you want to talk about daps per hour on duty, Dorolo's probably got the most. And look, it's because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not on duty. I mean, you can't okay. shift on folks, right? Yeah. How many hours on, a week is she on duty? Nobody's going to compare to your hours. I please. know. I know. And, and I don't okay. think they should. You just said it. Nobody's going to compare to my hours. So how come I have the same standards of daps that they do? How come Denzel has the because same standards of daps that they do? Oh, so, so you want special treatment? Yes. I think if, if you spend more hours on duty, you absolutely deserve a special treatment because it's not special treatment it's just treatment. i'll tell you i'll tell you why the more hours you do the more punishment for exhaustion and you start cutting corners naturally it happens it's human nature to cut corners when, when you deal no. with a lot of things and you go for, absolutely it is that's exactly it right i understand there needs to be consequences for your actions right but here's here's the bottom line you say people need to feel the consequences of their actions and they have to learn that however here's what the leadership needs to learn their consequences have impact. And if the impact of the consequences does not match what they are being reprimanded for in the first place, then it feels bad. It does not feel just, and that's when you have a Denzel situation. Punishment does going, not fit uh, the crime. How so? I, 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 why I don't, don't understand ask, that Why don't you ask, any, ask anybody? Ask anybody. As far as what? About, about the whole dab system. I'm sorry. People want to act like, oh, it's just Cornwood and Denzel. No, it's not. They don't want to talk to y'all. I'll just say it. I'm sorry. Who, 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 who's saying everybody. They, they don't. They feel like they're they're talking to a wall. And I should say I, that's not fair. Not 100 percent of people. I need but him so I can I can just I can figure out this problem. Is there folks I need to talk to about this? And abrupt to, to the captains. I need to know, Cletus. Or how else I'm going to help you and fix it? How are we going to get past this and make progress? It's not about you directly. I don't care if it's about me or not. I, I just, I need to know. If you tell me there's a problem and people feel a certain way, and you think everybody, then who would I talk to? What is going on? What, what is transpiring? Because so I can understand the issue of what they're bringing up. The punishments are so harsh. They don't feel like a learning opportunity. They feel like a punishment. I, I Like the impact of the consequence is way, way greater than the impact or the con or sorry, the uh, impact of whatever you did to get reprimanded in the first place. It, it's absurd. And, right, and but once, once you loosen that standard, what happens? What, what do you mean? We don't have that standard. Oh, oh you're talking about not having a, a demerits, is what you're saying. I, I'm, I'm saying, you know, I get the def system can be harsh. I totally get that. But at the same time, what happens if you tomorrow remove it? Or make it maybe last only 15 days? It should, it should be 20. Tw I think 20 is fair. The statute of limitations in this city I could go shoot someone in the head, throw them in the ocean, pull their You've body out of already. the ocean, mutilate them. No, I didn't throw them in the ocean. But the first part, yeah. <laughs> I could pull them out of the ocean, I could mutilate them, throw them back in the ocean, and I would be in less trouble for that than wearing the wrong shoes, wearing the wrong hat right. on duty 31 days later. But what you don't understand is being a police officer comes with a lot of power and responsibility. It, it does. It comes and with a lot, a lot. I, un have to I be understand. Very... Right. But, but right. I do understand that. However, I'm talking about the impact of the situation. There is, come on. But the pro problem I don't understand is- Why everybody... would anybody want to be a police officer? Why? Because it can make a difference. Because can they can you? actually, absolutely, I it, have. Yeah. I, I definitely have. Sure, but if you're so damn scared to do your job because you're gonna get reprimanded for it, you know what happened today? I had to tell people who wanted to go off duty and wanted to talk about this whole situation 
to not go off duty. I almost didn't go off duty myself because I felt bad and I didn't want to leave people hanging. I didn't want I didn't want to have something bad to happen to somebody and then me not be there to help them. Who's watching us right now? Who's this? Oh, it's the mayor. Howdy, the mayor thoroughbred. Do you want to come join us? No. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Hey guys, we'll be in the lobby. Okay, sounds right. good. Uh, it might take some time though, okay? I, you're also yourself looking at display action for what happened at the incident with uh, Donna Bush the 23rd and the incident with Officer Knight. Uh, have you heard? I, what? With yeah. Knight? Knight lied in his report and I told him he lied and I told him to fix his report and put all the facts in there. How does that fall on me? Because you're a part of it with Aziz. I mean, this thing got Hell, very serious. The yeah, it did. The got involved. So you're saying right now it got serious, but when I talked to Aziz, you said it was no, a joke. No, it got serious between us and Brian because Brian is saying a bunch of bullshit that didn't happen. He, the, Please, the, I talked to, we talked to the lawyers and the people involved. And, and there's even a request for a bench trial as far as the DOJ. The alleyway eastbound behind Firm. Ruby, are you out of a vehicle? All right, where are we going? I'm trying to get, he's in my vehicle. We're going to jail. Oh, 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 chill, 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 what the fuck? What? I just discharged my firearm by accident. Did you get shot in the wire? You bleeding? I did. Yes, I fucking did. And I'm bleeding. How many times has he resisted? He's on the black phone again. Black oh, Seminole. God is ass. Ass. I'm going for cuffs. Black Seminole is, is on scene. The officer's going for black Seminole. Cuff. Has the female. Go for cuffs, go for cuffs. I'm about to make $63,000. I'm about to find him for sixty-three thousand dollars. Oh, I am gonna find him for sixty-three thousand dollars. Hold on, hold on. I'm the one. I'm the one who who tackled him multiple times. No, no, no. Look, he said it to me. He no, look, me. we just split it three ways. Uh, I'm taking the charge what off. What the I don't fuck? Care. We split it three ways. I'm the one who's gonna get sued, hey, guys. I was in primary. Sued. I was in oh. primary, damn near the whole time. Hey, we would have lost him if it wasn't you. for my exception. How is it gonna be? Wait, hold on. How is it sixty-three thousand dollars? He told me one of the IDs. He oh, had bitch! On him you was go do father's. this yourself. You go do this yourself. <laughs> yeah, this is you're, you're fucking crazy. What? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, it's the law. It's the law. We can pay to enforce the law. I feel like he, I'm saying apple and you guys are hearing orange. I'm saying get this on recording because you can't just <laughs> go on based on testimony. Because simply all he needs to say is he must understood me. It's easy. You think he says more? We split this shit three ways. Okay. But then you guys back me up and say you heard them. Let's all lie together. I mean, oh, let's go ask him. Come on, duty. What? What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> the same sentence as these. Say you're being targeted and then say you want to make up testa statements. I'm just saying if everyone else can do it, why can't hey. I do it? Hold too, on. Hold right? on. Hold on. You can't easy. be telling me for over an hour that all these things are happening and then i'm hearing you talking about corruption yo part of the problem you shot an unarmed man Brian. no y'all y'all yeah, i shot him listen to take there, hey, there's no listen guys listen all right i'm talking to y'all here Damn. okay Damn. aziz you tipped me off <laughs> you tipped me off okay to him having an adoption fraud case and because you tipped me off to the adoption the 5, fraud, you get now. five thousand. I charge him for nine. That's fourteen. We split that shit three ways, and we call it a day. What up? Right. I don't see the issue. The state the gives us it? five thousand for the tip off. Each. I charge the nine. Fourteen three ways. We call that. You know what? What is that? That's like eight thousand dollars each. Oh, nice little trip. Hello, <laughs> Brian. It's good money, man. Listen, I just got done with a guy who's like losing his fucking mind because he baited us into a chase over literally nothing and then refuses to speak. And then when he does speak, he says all kinds of shit that's very hard to interpret. And now we're talking about doing corruption in the middle of all of this. No, that how literally how is that corrupt? Big C. Wait, what happened? He's throwing us under the bus. Wait, how? Knight was then asked to pretend to be oh. oh. being made by the suspect. At which point, Knight mentioned that this is highly illegal. The counter statement was made wait, 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 so you technically heard it. Wait, what the hell? Knight? Hold on, what the hell, what Brian? You, man? What? what? <laughs> you actually shot the man, and I didn't say nothing. I put that in the report. I said I shot, I shot okay. the guy. No, hold on. What did you? Say? What the hell is this, man? You throw, you fucking me over. You gonna get me fired? I think the best line was in route there. He refused to acknowledge Miranda's statements, like, uh, and. Uh, statements 
and proceeded right. to state, you are dog shit. You do not know how <laughs> to do your job. This is not de-escalation and other cringe statements that ultimately led to Knight deciding to hand over the incident to Aziz so as not to escalate the suspect's blood pressure any further. But this dumbass known as Aziz Sultan, despite being handed over, this guy decides to go and press fucking these charges on something I'm trying to disengage from. You can disengage from dumb fuck. fucking me over. You can just do it and oh, leave. Man, what is you it? started fucking me over man, two hours ago. What? When I had, I, a simple conversation. I had to send you an email, you dumb fuck. Because you said something else, so I just yeah, had to I said go handle myself. it. And I you was, decided I'm you're handling going to go. It. And how is this handling? What do you mean how is this handling it, Brian? <laughs> Y'all, listen, let's just get in the car, okay? This is gonna get me fired. Y'all, listen, is, listen. This is fuck. Hey, hey, fuck. hey. Every, listen, fuck. it's fine. Everybody get in the car. It's not fine. Listen, get in the car. I'll send this shit into the ocean. We all forget about it. How's that sound? Uh, <laughs> we're all 13. We can't really testify. <laughs> Brian, what the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? What do you I mean, what do I mean? What do you mean? It was a joke. It was a joke. We were bantering between us three, yeah, man. And I was bantering to the trolling. This was trolling. Yeah. Well, okay, this is not bad, but now it's official. You know what? I'll tell you what my problem is, Aziz. All right, okay. I think I made it very clear what sort of situation this was, and you decided to, for whatever reason, decide to bring this even further. Um, no, I thought you wanted to get rid of your hands of this situation. Man. Yeah, that doesn't okay. mean, brother, I am the primary on this case. I'm like, this guy is a fucking cringe lord. All right, please handle this. And you decide that you go and press all these charges. Press Instead, we charges? could be back. I'm doing my fucking job, man. I'll get that if yeah, I don't press the doing, charges on I'm him. I'm doing my job right now, too. Wow. After that heart to heart we had for like two hours. All right, I'm going to get fired. I'm going to lose my job because of a conversation I thought we was having. It's been a long, it's been a fun ride. If you read that, that is plain corruption. Corruption is, I mean, the way he words it makes me sound really fucking bad in the sense that I was genuinely trying to be corrupt. We were fucking around, man. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, fuck. Is he seriously trying to push these charges? If I mean, the answer is yes, we cannot be fucking around. Sure. But, but right? at the same time, like, so, I mean, you you know, Aziz talked to you for a couple hours. And, and sometimes you just, you just need that hour where our job is taxing. And sometimes you just, you just need you need to blow off a little steam and make some jokes. How much of it was a joke? I think this is something that I, I'm going stand, to stand rather firm on. When it's going to come down to serious charges and you want to like, you know. Hey, but I, I wasn't actually trying to get you to put in a fake statement. Right? You even was asking yeah, if you were trolling. How do yes. you get to decide when you were saying if you're well, going to let Brian finish. How do you get right. to decide which of your statements you're going to be serious on and which ones you aren't? Maybe it was my fault. I misinterpreted our relation, right? I thought maybe I could joke around a little bit. Brian, okay. I'm going to be 100% honest looking at this statement yeah. and everything that happened. I had to say it, but if if you're looking at it, it actually looks a hell of a lot worse on you. Even the end part where you're talking about, you know, we can't be joking around and stuff like that. You know it's a joke. If, if you don't have in there that it's a joke, you're not saying, you, you could say it's a, maybe I felt uncomfortable with the joke. Right? But a joke is a joke. Knight was then asked to pretend he had heard the statement being made by the suspect, at which point Knight mentioned that is highly illegal. The counter statement was made, but you heard it from me, so technically you heard it. You didn't put all my jokes in there. I said some funny ass shit. You know that it's a joke, and you didn't put it in there. That's lying by wait, omission. Wait, wait, that wait, is key, wait. That is part? key to the Sorry, integrity. Wait. That is key to the integrity of the LSPD, Brian Knight. Okay? Yeah. And if you don't put that it was a joke. Wait, the, wait, wait, which line? Which uh, you're the gonna entire have to end of it? The entire end of your statement. Say that you didn't like it. Say I was not comfortable with these jokes. They were very not funny to me, and I was offended. And put Brian Knight, Liberal Snowflake Police Department, number one ninety five. Because otherwise, you're Look. lying by omission. Oh, I mean, you're not, you're absolutely not wrong. I mean, <laughs> listen, <laughs> honestly, I think we should all get fucked for this. They're calling us on three. What meeting? Oh shit. I mean, I don't think it's easy to get fired, personally. This was serious, and he was told to change his report. This is a serious matter. I, you're getting one death he, no, because- No, no, I was, no, I was told, I told him to finish his report and be honest in it. 
And, and I told him exactly what you told Johnson about integrity. And the fact that I'm reprimanded for the Brian Knott situation, for one, I made a joke Everybody at some point. Him. Everybody, everybody. Why? Literally, why? There because is no, shot, there, is no there is no, there is no suspect. He, he shot a suspect. What do you mean? Somebody got shot. Once again, it comes okay, out well, shooting. Sure, he, sure. Hurt, he got right? shot. He got, yeah. Brian did no, screw no, no, up. No, Actually, somebody, somebody, Brian did screw up. He, 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 he shot somebody. Sure. The situation went from dealing with the. But, uh, but why Aziz? Somebody, why me? It's a joke. The, the problem, it wasn't a joke because I was charged being pressed. I was going to go to bench. How is it a joke if somebody's going to be found guilty of $60,000 of adoption fraud? No, that's, a, that's not what happened. I'm. Brian Knight is a liar. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I lost a lot of respect for Brian Knight after that night. So you had no fault. You were you were you were perfect throughout the whole entire situation. You didn't say anything to Aziz the, or Knight at all. The only mistake I made was trying to lighten the mood amongst people that I respect and trying to make sure people are having a good time. I'm doing push-ups on the ground and Aziz is sitting on my back and we're joking about commission on a uh, on a citation. In private, I'm gonna lose my shit about that one. That is that is completely undeserved. Actually, I'll be I'm gonna take a step further. Most of my dabs are completely undeserved. I didn't I did okay, not wave okay, I didn't okay, okay. I did not yes, wave and point my gun at a crowd. Crazy. You okay, going crazy. read my dabs. Okay, come to on me. now. Read my read my dabs, and I will oh, tell you which. Go ahead. Okay, it would be my pleasure. No problem. December 18th, three dabs. There was 100 people there, by the way. Let's I did go, I go did ahead. not take my gun out and point it at the crowd. I did not. You cuff somebody who ran up on who stage. Who ran up and they they ran up on stage and ran towards a mayoral candidate. And you're a mayoral candidate at a time. You're a civilian, not a cop. Sure. If you're running from sure. Right, so, but if somebody is gonna get hurt and I'm there to protect people, I'm sorry. That is stupid as shit to for me to sit there and and let somebody else get hurt. Why let a situation escalate when I could stop it in its tracks right there? So why escalate with a gun? I, I didn't escalate question. with a gun. I went and tackled him, and then I cuffed him, and that is it. I remember I told Ruth. I don't remember doing that, but help, maybe, probably. But I'm I'm gonna be honest. I did not do that shit. I've 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 tried to think about that as hard as I can, and I cannot remember ever pointing my gun at the crowd of civilians in an act of integrity. I was honest and I said, I do not remember. However, what would Cletus Corn would do? Yeah, Wait, so probably... you didn't you didn't remember, but now you I'm I'm confused. Because I was just in the moment. I had just gotten back into town and I didn't realize I am incentivized to lie and be dis be not genuine because for me to make a lot of a situation, I am reprimanded for that for 60 days. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, Slacks. If you don't see that for what it is, maybe you are part of the problem. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I've defended you tooth and nail in front of the mayor, in front of everybody else. And I said, the one person I don't blame in this situation is you. Because I think that you had the short end of the stick in this whole thing. But for you to come at me for some shit that I didn't do is, is horrible. I'm telling you exactly what I heard. And I'm telling you what you. happened. And I was there. Right. It does not line up to what I have in front of me. It does not line up to it. You, you gotta be kidding because, me. Because, because, because... I, Brooke Ruth pointed a gun at my head three days ago and said if I ever speak out on her, she's gonna kill me. I, I don't understand why you're acting like this. I, I don't get it. Because you're because, taking bullshit that ain't true and you're taking it as fact. I'm about to jump off. This I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. I'm... You're not talking to a brick wall, but the problem is you, you're not taking accountability at all for what happened. Because uh, there was there's nothing to take accountability for. When have I not taken accountability for something, Slacks? I've always been completely honest in every situation. Knight was little approached about the report he made. He was asked, why would he do so? Given the ramification potential dabs and consequences he may help him receive. Knight made an attempt to make very clear that given this very situation, he must write a report with accuracy and that other officers within the rights can refute Nice interpretation of events. Explain to me that part. Explain, explain me the last paragraph I just read. I told you what happened. I told him you need to be honest in your statement. And if you're if you're lying about shit in your statement and saying shit that didn't happen, then the, the, there's major repercussions for that. He told us at the end of the night he was messing with us. He told me his call sign used to be 187, which is the number for murder, because he would do shit to people. By the way, what's Brooke Ruth's call sign? 187. You dissecting call signs now? I'm I'm not dissecting. I'm just looking at what's right in front of me. You wanted to prevent a failed PD, 
after three years or however long it took years ago, you're about to get there in three months. Kudus, I'm coming to you. I'm telling you what's going on as far as what have you decided on for this particular incident? You might not agree with it. Hell, you're being, I'll be honest, disrespectful. Because, because what, not, what, because what about the way I'm that not. you've handled that situation deserves respect? I'm sorry. Respect is not given, it's earned. Th that and you, you're earning disrespect right now from me, I'll be honest. From, because but I'm earning disrespect because I am telling you honestly that what Brian Knight is putting put in a statement is wrong. And that is not what happened. I'm st I still don't know what I did wrong that I actually did wrong in that situation. That's one incident. Okay. What about, this, what about the second one? The, the one where you put a bullet in a guy's head in front of six officers. Yeah, what about it? Why'd you do it? I don't think you understand. I don't know if you ever will. <laughs> Ow! 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 <laughs> Wake up! I, no. <sighs> I, I need, I need, I need a blood sugar level. I'm gonna get medical down here, okay? Or do you feel like you need to get back on your feet? Let's go back to me, Sharon Pity, come on. You feel much better now? Yeah, the last thing I remember is, uh, that we were watching that- I thought you were okay. I heard you honey. got some hunger pains. Did I? I don't, I don't know what happened. Hey there, looking at you. Look at that, he's much better honey. now. Oh, honey. What's good? I'm so sorry, I missed your me. I, I, I'm, uh- No, no meeting, miss. I just want, I just want to show you guys something real quick. Okay. I'm showing you guys this as a courtesy. I've already submitted it to the Fed. Uh, I already have partial support. It's only a matter of time before I get full support. I look forward to working with you, gentlemen. I'm used to micromanaging my own shit show, and now apparently we got to micromanage yours too. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, no. That that's a me thing. <laughs> well, there's there's plenty of people that do that, Crane. So can you do me a solid and not do that? Yeah, how's your guys' night going? I saw you guys up there on the uh, the roof. Terrible. Because you forgot everything I talked about for the past two hours. You forgot, or...? Well, uh, uh, Oh, how is that my fault? I got all night, so let's go back to me, show pity, I'll run you through it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, Round two, oh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, read that at your own leisure, gentlemen. Well, uh, we'll do, I appreciate uh, that, thank uh, you. Captain, understand that I'm not here to make you guys no longer autonomous, merely to give you the assistance <laughs> you need. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the future. That's all. All right, good. Love you. Slags, like, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna drive this thing until pump. You ready? In a video that, game. That's that's what I that's what I want to see. Let's do it. No, because look, sometimes look, so. sometimes you gotta let some steam off. It's fine. We'll go to one of the pumps that nobody uses. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there's there's, there's different kind of ways to release. You know, to de-stress. Regardless of what happens next, Cletus, this conversation, everything that we talked about, I do believe things can get better. I do believe that it starts with folks understanding that the reason why things are and the reason why we push for these things is because we want a police department that has a standard, that has, you know, respect, that cares about doing the right thing, not doubling down and just, um, you know, focus on themselves, right? It's just, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I probably got 45 ME max. I, I am slowly losing conscience. Okay, well, I'm losing confidence. I, I don't. I, confidence. I don't. I don't see how you can't see the problems with Captain Ruth. And, I and, see the problems that I need to address, and I see some of the issues in the complaints. Some of them are valid. Some of them are not. But so also, what, what is you, not valid? Uh, shooting a suspect after he's been shot twenty-five times. One more time. That's not a. That's body. not. That's not a thing with Captain Ruth. I already. I, look, I don't. Oh, but look. I'm not here for Captain Ruth, though. Well, I'm, and I'm, I'm here for you. Yeah, and I'm. I, Cap, do you see Captain Ruth around here? No, I don't. You're here but, for me, and I'm here for for you. And I'm here for everybody but, else. I'm here for the people. That's and what I'm saying. I do saying. appreciate that. And I do appreciate that. But I'm here for you, for what transpired, as far as the two instances that happened. Back to my point. I'm still mad at you. I am. Why? Because I trusted you to be responsible for the weekend. I told you I was gone. I said, please don't do anything stupid. Yeah, and what, what did do? I do? You, you did something that was very, very stupid. That almost made you lose your badge. You could be looking at potentially murder. That's but, how but serious it he, was. But and he you don't wanted, understand that. He wanted to die. There is no way in hell that it, it the consequence matches. I'm getting one for something I didn't do, which has already happened multiple times. And one for that incident, and then five for the incident that, that happened with the five? shooting. Five? Five. Uh, five daps. I'll tell you, you want to tell me I shouldn't have shot him? I'll say, okay, fine. But you want to give me five daps for some bullshit that made no impact 
the consequences have impacts, but the consequence has, sorry, the consequence has an impact, but impact of what you're doing to earn those consequences has to match. Right, and what is the impact of allowing you to do something like that, letting it slide, other officers in front of you thinking that's okay. You're an FTO. You're supposed to be a role model. So people think so, that's So why don't you just tell me not to do that? Because I've had those conversations with you, Fletus, right? And like, like it's been before, this is something we talked about, right? Shooting has always been an issue with you as far as, you know, firearm safety. And it's not the first time you've done something like that. If it is, then what would, I would do what I did the first time. Firearm training. Go through it again. Shoot the gun again. Things like that. I've done that with you, right? Five daps. That, is that not a stack? We can, well, we, oh, we're, we're going to stack on crew. We spend There's more no time. We spend more time policing ourselves than we do policing damn city. And it's with because, shit like because, this. Because unfortunately, officers are having misconduct. Are yeah, they are. Are the, the misconduct right, so. is people trying to get other people in trouble and trying to trying to hurt other people instead of trying to help each other and trying to. If there's an issue, talking it out and figuring it out man to man. That's the right, problem. On, on scene, nobody approached you and said, "Hey, Cleese, what the hell are you doing?" Duncan, I got more statements saying other people approach you as well afterwards. Yeah, everybody's laughing. Duncan is the only one that I remember saying like, "Hey, it was a little overboard. You probably shouldn't have done that." But I remember other people laughing. You know, they said in the moment, hey, stop. And then afterwards, they were laughing about it. Nobody should be laughing and celebrating the, the, the death of somebody. And the fact that we have an officer <sighs> bleeding. I mean, Andrews was bleeding on the ground from a stab wound, right? Yeah, a Andrews said. So why are we laughing about it? She's like, I, I don't understand. Because it, it was all good afterwards. He was, he was fine. He was healthy. That some bitch died because he wanted to die. Suicide by cop. But you forget the first part I said. The reason why things escalated and the reason why I pulled his knife is because... An officer shouted that, and that made him turn around, branch a knife, and lunge at that officer. So, with that all being said, that takes you to a total of 10 death points, meaning that you'll be placed in indefinite suspension. Pending because a because of something I didn't do. You can argue that all day at the panel. Captain Ruth will be there. I'll be there. A few seniors will be there as well. Oh, here, you know, you know what I can do here? I, I can go ahead and have that meeting right now. Just like this. Oh, howdy. Uh, no, I did not do that thing that Brian not lied about in his report. I need, I need, I need and I told him. Gun, I'm tired of disrespect. I, I am. Okay, well, I'm tired, I, I'm tired of the disrespect, too. I'm tired of the disrespect, too. You, all you do is just disrespect. That's all you How? do. How? How? I am, not, I am, not I am I here, not insulted you I am once. here, Dave. Have I made one comment? I yes. I made one comment? Yes. What is it? What have I called you? It, it's me. your what actions. You? Actions speak louder than words. Actions. Flex. I'm holding you accountable, Clutus. That is not holding me accountable. What is there to hold me accountable for for something I did not do? You didn't shoot that guy. Okay, I did not. I did shoot that guy. I, sh I shot that guy who I had every reason to believe he wanted to die. When you lunge at a police officer with a knife in front of 10 other police officers who have you at gunpoint, you want to die. And now I'm reprimanded for that by five points for one bullet. You're trying to simplify things. I'm not. Black and white. I, you know what? I am. Why? Because Chief Justice Crane told me to. And he said the whole damn problem with this PD is the fact that we don't simplify things to go from point A to point B. And that is Why it. That is the bottom line. 10 down points. I need your badge and gun. I did not do the Brian Knight thing. And I think you know that I did not do that. You're giving me more reasons to spend you right now by talking like this. Because no, you're not. No, well, I'm, you, no I'm, tr I'm treating you. you know, I'm not treating you like some dead gum idiot. Monday, we'll have a you know, hockey man panel. 3 p.m. We're going to everybody meet. We're going to have everybody show up. I'm not, I'm not going through the same bullshit what happened then. So we're not prolonging it. People going to show up. There's a time to be there. You need to be there. I need you to be safe. I need you to care of yourself and not place yourself in a more difficult position when you go out there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. Okay, I'm, I'm saying this as a friend, as somebody who cares about you, to take this seriously and to not allow this to spiral or to not place yourself in a, in a position to where it might affect your job in the future. Please, Cletus, come back on Monday. We'll have a good talk. And I, I'm sure we can move, move past this. But there's a lot of things we've talked about. And Monday, I believe it'll be the day where we can get everything out. I have zero confidence. If I get dapped for this Brian Knight situation, I have zero confidence that it won't happen again. I also completely disagree with the fact that I'm getting five daps for one extra bullet. It was a firearm. It was excessive. He was dead. And others would you like, would you like a felony on your charge? Would you like a felony too as well? No. Badge and a gun, Cletus. I'm done. I'm going to bed. You're, you're going off duty in definite suspension. Yeah, Badge but, and a gun now. But I mean, that is what I, I, that I'm is done what talking to you about that. I'm done. Badge and a gun. Make sure all your PD gears in your locker. You got to change. You're doing it wrong. Yeah, you're... Cletus. 
You're doing it wrong. You're proving the point to the wrong guy. One day you will realize that. What? What you doing right now? Giving the middle finger is does not benefit anybody. It might make you feel good in the moment, right? But but you gotta day, admit you gotta admit it was kind of funny. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Funny to you. To me, it makes me sad. You think I, I ain't sad? I've given this police department every single damn thing I've had for the last almost three months. Nobody doubts your ability to do your police work. That's why this whole thing hurts me, because I, I know the potential. I know how good you can be. But at the same time, we all make mistakes, right? Some are big, some are small. One is big, and only one is big. <laughs> uh, dispatch 100, 1042. I got suspended. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for your service, Cornwall. <laughs> hey, yeah, I got suspended. I'm literally gonna. I'm gonna you, oh my fucking god. Sorry, uh, 410, we're looking through the uh, PD script today of like series of events. Oh, yeah. Forte, Forte yeah, we, was just getting over his villain arc, and then. You enter stage You left. enter scene with you suspended, and now you're gonna tell us about what happened. It feels like a fucking movie right now as to what's going on. You know what? Take me to city council or city hall. You know, I am a lawyer now, technically. Oh, so hey, you need a cell, if you need a cell rep, let me know. Officers or criminals? Better call Cornwood. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a chapter ending and a new one starting tomorrow. Hopefully a short one. <laughs> Hopefully a short one. But you know what? You're going to make a great Texas Ranger one day. You know that? <laughs> All right. Have a good one, brother. Keep we'll see you later.